saw. This is the new addition to the shop. It's a Boys Crane 14 inch bandsaw. It was originally uh, a woodworking tool, but I'm going to be converting it to metal and restoring it a little bit. Uh, while I was uh, toying with it, I broke part of the uh, zinc casting on the blade guide, and so in this video we'll be making a new one. It'll be just about identical to the one uh, Tubal Cain makes in his videos. Here's our drawing of the blade guide we're going to make. I'll be using for our bearing this new old stock NSK R8ZZ and I'll have to make a bushing going from half inch to quarter inch because the screw that I'll ha be using to uh, mount this to the blade guide will be a quarter twenty screw. And here's our materials we'll be using for this project. I wasn't about to use this big block of hot rolled mild steel because I thought it was saving it for an important project. Well, this is an important project. The uh, guides themselves will be this W2 half inch tool steel and this little piece of mild steel will be the, the uh, little half inch sleeve bushing. Let's go over to the bandsaw and get this thing rough cut. Before I put this into the bandsaw, I'd like to knock off some of this slag. This was flame cut at one point, and so I want to be able to clamp it squarely. Pretty close. Okay. And there's what we got. I bet this bandsaw hates me. But, uh, it cut that <laughs> big piece of steel like a champ. Before I can even start to uh, think about getting this thing squared up in the mill, I've got to take a lot of it off, because this is a piece of hot rolled steel 100%. It is, it's been flame cut, it's irregular, it's just a rough piece. I'm glad I have it, but uh, it's going to take a little work before it's a usable piece.
insert is still in there. And I'm not going to show all of this because it's going to be a long time. It's going to be real tedious. Now the the part is squared up. I can now uh, get back to the saw and start sawing off the uh, the excess. These white lines are what's going to get cut off. finally got the piece to its kind of a uh, pre-finished size uh, two inches square and then three and a quarter across and I've finally finished laying it out and um, the way I'm going to take these kind of square pieces out is well by sawing them and it would be nice if I had a bandsaw because uh, the horizontal bandsaw won't really cut it quite like the way I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain drill little uh, eighth inch holes and then mill the rest of it, you know, about a sixteenth since it's, I'm going to drill it with an eighth inch drill bit. i um, going to mill that square. That's how we'll do it. What I'm doing now is a little experiment. Uh, I'm seeing how uh, how chain drilling would work on uh, on our part here, and so I'm taking advantage of the scrap I made, the cutoff, and here's my chuck for this lathe, and uh, this is a foreign chuck. This was actually uh, made in USSR, so it says, and it's odd that it would say so in English says they're made in USSR, but somehow that doesn't make sense. Why would there be uh, Soviet products made for, um, made for uh, the rest of the world? Anyway, uh, I can't use a Jacobs number three chuck key exactly how it is because the hole in there is not five sixteenths. It's a little bit smaller than that. And as much as I would not want to alter this, uh, I'm going to open that hole up so that I can use my drill chucks, even though I've already ruined one. And it kind of works, but uh, not really that well. The hole this originally came with must have been a 7 millimeter hole because this 9 30 seconds drill bit just kind of barely goes in and wants to stick in the hole when it when I stick it in there and uh, 9 30 seconds is 7.14 millimeters 
I tried drilling it a little bit with this uh, regular HSS bit, but this is so hard. That reminds me of when I was uh, cutting off the uh, the tang from the Morse taper here and threading it, that it was real hard. And uh, so I've got this drill bit with a piece of braised carbide on there, and so we're going to give it a shot like that. That's more like it. What a difference. All right, now let's see how well this fits. Yes, that is exactly it. That's the way it ought to behave. There we go. Sadly, I don't have a chuck key of any kind with a metric pilot. As much as I would love to not alter this brand new chuck uh, in any way more than I already have. But, well, this is working and that's what it's going to be. Something kind of rattly sounding about it, but... Um, well, I guess that's, that's how it is. And that is way better. That is much more like it. Maybe not all the way, because it still feels like it wants to kick out a little bit. But, that'll definitely do. Okay, where was I? 125 plus 150 is 275. So much better than the drill press. Ah, it's almost like having another machine now. I like that. That's it for part one of this video. Look out for part two sometime next week.